Hey guys, have you ever seen a designer or illustrator showcase their artwork in a time-lapse formation where their artwork is actually fixed on the screen? It can look like this. I've also used it to look like this. It's a great way to showcase long periods of time that you're investing in your art over a really short duration and it can look really aesthetic. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do this super quickly. So let's get into it. So so the first thing you're gonna need is a second monitor. Unfortunately, not everyone has a second monitor. However, if this is something that you're looking to do more so, or you wanna increase your workflow, then I would highly suggest getting a second monitor. They're super cheap. As you can see, JP Hi-Fi, $189, $149. I think it's definitely worth investing in one if you're looking to spend the time on Adobe Illustrator creating this kind of artwork. So if you've already got a second monitor or bought it for this specific reason, the first thing you wanna do is jump into Adobe Illustrator, get the file that you're looking at working on and you want to come over to window you want to click new window this will duplicate the file but just in a separate window so now that you've got your second window as you can see here this is the same file if I go into my layers section and actually show the layers it's the exact same artwork what you want to do is drag your new window your duplicated window over to your new monitor. And as you can see, it's now going to appear on my second monitor. I want to make sure that I click this maximize button so that it fits the full screen of my monitor. Then what you want to do is make sure that you're selected in this new window on this new monitor and you want to hide the layers. So coming back into your original file, you want to toggle the artworks off just so that you've got your plain background. Now what I like to do is have three layers. The first layer is the image. Let's pretend that this is the image here. I can see my image on this layer. So we'll get rid of the artwork. This is my image. If I click on my second window and hide my image, as you can see, it's hiding the image on this second layer. Now what I can do is come back into this window and if you actually click from side to side, you can see that the eye icon indicating which layer is showing is changing because on this window, my background layer or my image layer is showing on this window, it's not. And this is how you get that effect. So now if I lock this layer, create another layer, let's delete this, create another layer, which will be my artwork layer, for example, and decide to draw some boxes. Let's just make it red, for example. Yeah, makes it gray. We'll make it green this time. As you can see on this window, it's appearing in real time. And if I draw maybe some, some squiggles and some brushes, you can see that it's also occurring on this window and as you create your artwork, it'll appear here. Make sure that you're screen recording on this side. I like to also, before I create my art, make sure that I fit the screen to the artboard size and I keep it fixed there. When I'm screen recording all of my sessions, I do not touch it from here. It will stay that way until I finish recording. Otherwise, you might get a bit of a jittery effect like this. And that's exactly how you do it, guys. As I'm working on this artboard, it's happening on that artboard and I'm screen recording this second artboard. It works really well for me. I hope it works well for you. If you've learned something, make sure to give this video a like if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be doing heaps more tutorials in regards to Adobe Illustrator or just general design. Let me know in the comments below if I have helped you out. And with that all said and done, guys, I will see you in the next one.